Hello, everyone. Um, it's glad to be uh, here. I am really excited to be here. Uh, first of all, I have permission from IZT use banana again. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you if I raise my hand, if you can say banana again. Banana. banana. <laughs> Perfect. Right now, uh, I can start my presentation finally. <laughs> Uh, we have something like uh, slightly different because Evgeny, he has presentation after me and he has something like deep dive into modules and I have something like showing what you can do in modules and also with some hands-on examples, also I mentioned on, on my end something about our communities and something like that. First of all, uh, something about what is in initmax. Please... Uh, we have something like five slides about our company, and I explain this later. Uh, first of all, this is our services. Finally, we have Zabbix monitoring solution, and this is great and best solution ever, Alexei. Thank you. <laughs> uh, another one is log management and Vazook. Uh, we are also using this and exporting some data in Zabbix. I talk about this later. We have something like open source IDM solutions, and again, we are trying to export everything what we can into Zabbix. And also, I have some examples later. DevOps automatization. We have something like co-working in Zabbix and under the automatization stuff about uh, do something automatization about installing Zabbix, and also some really, tri really tricky tasks uh, about uh, monitoring and how to export or extend your uh, whole environment. Another one is PostgreDBA. Uh, we have a really nice guy in our team, and also all our Zabbix instances, we are working with uh, Postgres. Uh, really nice extension is TimescaleDB, and also we have some clustering about this, uh, actually it's Patroni. And on this side, everything what I actually say, it's everything we are trying to make Zabbix better. Uh, also, we have some certification. I'm so excited because we have two certified experts and one trainer with me. <laughs> and also our customer. Uh, we have alza.cz, it's biggest uh, retailer in Czech Republic. Also, you maybe can know from different countries. And also, we have another customer with name O2. It's the almost biggest uh, Telefonica company in Czech Republic. And I'm super excited because this company it gives us the opportunity to make this widget, what you can see on our slides. Oh, sorry, we have also Saska, I maybe forgot. It's our youngest customer. Uh, this customer is actually doing some bad, bad works uh, about the numbers and games and something like this. It's online and also on-site, uh, some really, really nice stuff. And uh, also this company, we hope uh, we can make something different in Zabbix. We have DHL. Teto and Aleph Nula. All this company is our something like uh, daily used uh, friends, and we are talking together and we are trying to push Zabbix out. We also have some push requests inside Zabbix, and uh, all these partners is something like special for us because uh, when we need something do completely special, we have partners where we can talk, hey, it can be possible, and say, hey, it's great, we can give you money if you want to do this, it's perfect. And also, my company, it's the team of seven people, including me, in, in Zabbix. We have also different part of my company, but all these people is really excited in Zabbix, and I want to have these people on my slides. Okay, start with the presentation. History of Zabbix UI. Uh, Zabbix UI modules is first introduced in version 5.0. And we don't have some examples for this. And we are still thinking how we can do something. And we hit some borders in Zabbix, I think, one year ago. And we say, hey, we have Zabbix UI modules. And we can start thinking how we can use it. It's pretty nice, because in version 6.4, it's be completely rewritten and it be nicer. I have also a slide about this. It's really simple to install these modules. Um, also, you can see, I think, from uh, Wolfgang, he has a really nice uh, module about the, the something you can visual in your front end, you can check the code, and you can also find some really nice uh, topics about this on GitHub. 
uh, it's completely right in PHP and JavaScript. PHP is fine, but JavaScript, it's a little pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> okay, uh, we have documentation in Zabbix page. Uh, we have documentation in Zabbix page. <laughs> uh, installation configuration. It's actually four steps. First steps is you just go in your machine, find where is your front end installed, go on this part, just copy by, for example, in our, our example is git clone, your uh, previously used or favorite module, and it's it. On your system, is everything is done. Next step is go into administration, click on general, modules, and on the right side in the corner, you, have, you can find the button with the scan uh, modules. If you hit this button, just like this, <laughs> you can see uh, the front end load the files from your file system. On next step, you can just ch choose your favorite widget, click on him, and just click enable. It's everything. And it's, and it's enable, it's so simple. And another step is simple. Just go and use your favorite module. We have example which is loading some something like new menu page where we have really nice message about Zabbix. We love Zabbix, it's simple. <laughs> what can be done by module? It's a hard question. On the start, we are still thinking, where is the border? Can we do module? Can we do this? Can we do this? Actually, we think in front end, you can do almost everything. It's really nice because you can do almost everything. It's uh, sometimes it's a little hard, sometimes it's a little easy, but a uh, lot of people here making the examples and give, uh, give us these examples to publish. And you can just go download these examples, just read the code, and you can find how it's done, and say, hey, it's, it's pretty nice, I can use it. It's really nice. Uh, you can actually do some completely new widget, new menus, uh, completely new pages. You can do almost everything. We have, for example, some pop-ups. We have uh, some sorting of uh, action buttons where we click on action buttons, just open completely new pop-ups menu. This pop-up menu loads some data from Zabbix or also loads from data from, for example, third party. We have something like uh, different, different uh, CMDBs and load this data in one form. And when you click on this form, you can just ch choose what you want to use click on the create ticket, and all this information is actually posted into the, your uh, service desk. We are using the Jira service desk, and this is really nice, because you don't need any other tools. You have only Zabbix, and you have many, many uh, sources of this data. Examples. I'm super excited about examples, because we make these examples uh, for you. It's completely for free, and on my last slide, it's a big QR code. You can just check this QR code, and you can download it. It's for free. First example is widget header. Mm, you can see what we are doing here. I can actually can choose the text. I can use the HTML here. I can use the different coloring for text, different coloring for background. Uh, I can also choose the different fonts. Uh, our example widget is really simple. It's actually only two fonts. And also, you can choose the type bold, italic, underscore, everything here. I just wait a little bit. Yeah, you can see the size of our own text. And now you can see we are changing our fonts. It's easy, just click, and it's done. Bold, italic, and underscore. It's easy. Another widget is an uh, example when you see just graphic dashboard classic dashboard, and you need to have something like every each space between the widgets. Because you have something like 20 widgets, and you are just wasting your place on your dashboard with some spaces between widgets. And this widget is actually deleting these spaces to absolutely minimum, and it's pretty nice. It's so simple. This widget is actually really simple, and in this uh, widget, we are actually changing the CSS code. It's really nice. Another example is uh, something like completely new feature. On the top, you can see the counters. These counters is actually counting how many severity you have. For example, we have something like disaster severities in all Zabbix for, for example, five times. You can see the number five. 
On the right side, you can see the total count. And, and we also have on the left side, we have something like filter. We can choose. We don't want to just calculate this number only for not acknowledgement uh, events, or differently, I want to have everything on one place, or only acknowledgement events. Another example is so uh, really nice. I really like this because we can choose which columns we want to uh, see in front end, and also we have opportunity to drag and drop the buttons, and we can completely change the sizes. For example, if you don't like the time on the first uh, place, we can just grab the tag and give this tag on the first place. It's really nice. It's quite a bit uh, hard to do this. But we also make all this public. You can just check what we are doing. If you find some mistake, just write us. <laughs> OK, another one. It's uh, another really nice feature. Because you know in Zabbix, we have mass update buttons. But if you have many widgets, and if you need to choose, for example, five, six, or seven and different, and if you want to just click to 20, it's actually half of your page, you need 20 times click on your screen. But we do something like this. We just uh, add something like a really nice feature about the drag and drop modes. Just drag, completely select what you need, and it's it. Just anymore you need to use the mass update button or just clicking every time and selecting each. Here, you can see we have something like special uh, pop-up menu where we are just giving some new uh, buttons, for example, for our next pop-up, for getting information from Zabbix and the CMDB, and just creating the ticket by uh, this way. Also, our whole idea is everything have in Zabbix, and have Zabbix not only for monitoring solution, but also have Zabbix for something like automatization place and also for a uh, place for DevOps people. Because if you have many, many other solutions, you need many, many uh, uh, accounts and many, many knowledge about how to use the simple task. For example, backup. I need backup. I need to go in some place. But in Zabbix, I just click on the button. And after some time, I have the message about backup is done. Just give it acknowledgment. And this uh, acknowledgment just completely for us, the mean, just close this event. Another one is also very important for us, because another one is about sorting. Uh, I like the sorting in Zabbix, but sometimes you need to have the first, for example, not acknowledgement events. Every else, you need to go up or down. Right now, it's up. But you need to choose where you have your events. In this example, we have no acknowledgement events on top, or uh, pardon, sorry. Uh, acknowledgement events is on top, not acknowledgement events is downstairs. Just you can just choose uh, by this button, which is front, which is back. Also, you can have not only two or one level sorting, you have multiple level sorting. It's a really nice feature because you are just choose, choosing, for example, what is acknowledgement, and after this you are choosing your time. What I'm saying, uh, here is our QR code. Just you can scan it and use it, and you know, just everything is for free. Here is our uh, public Git repo. Here is each our example, and uh, basic stuff for our last three slides is in this uh, widget. I just need to wait because I see everything is flashing with phones. Okay. How to develop modules? Uh, it's actually three basic steps. I think basic. <laughs> uh, the main file is this one on the top, because you have manifest file and module file. And for the widgets, you need also have this C widget config.php file. But here is the problem. In Zabbix 5.0 and 5.2, on everything between, you can override this file only once. It means you have one module, and this module can have multiple widgets, but you cannot have one widget and one module and have something like 20 active widgets, because this file is considered overrided, 
and this is our problem. But I have good news because in 6.4 it's uh, reworked and it's completely fine. Another part is our widget configuration files. These files, you can see here, it's actually about editing your widget menu. If you are setting the settings and everything, it's on this side. And also, we have also some files where we are, can define the visual, visual page of, uh, of these widgets. Our problems. Please don't be angry, but we have also some problems. But in Zabbix 3.4, it's almost all this problem, it's fixed. I don't know how documentation, but almost all our uh, development problems is fixed in 6.4. It's pretty nice. Thank you, Alexei, for this, because it's really, really huge improvements for us. How are like, uh, I'm already talking about how we have some problems. It's uh, one module and multiple widgets. It's fine. But if you have one, uh, one module and can contain multiple widgets, it's still fine. But if you have only one module, one widget, and if you want to enable another one, it's not possible. It's completely crashed to your front end. Uh, this problem is in this file, again, but like I'm saying, 6.4, it's fixed. Uh, if you have some widgets and you're upgrading Zabbix, sometimes you have problem. Uh, our problems, it's not actually in PHP. Uh, many times we have problem with JavaScript. But uh, for me, it's not something like problems, really, because uh, Zabbix is still growing. We are completely fine with this. We are happy. It's, it's actually Zabbix is growing. But you need to have this in your brain about, hey, the new version. I need to maybe test it if it's still working. Future of this widget, uh, great future. 6.4 actually solving all our problems. Or you can check this ticket, 7469 in Zabbix Next. This ticket is resolved two days ago, and this ticket, is, for my opinion, actually containing all our fixes, what we need for uh, developing modules. It's still not updated on the roadmap, but as you know, uh, our roadmap is actually updating Alexei, and he's here with, uh, on our summit. Uh, maybe it's updated next week. Community. Community is very important for us because we start with the community. And I also want to thank you here, Wolfgang from IntelliTrend, because we really check his work and it's really nice. And also after me, I have Eugenie from Vigimont and he have really nice examples of widgets. Uh, really nice example is uh, also here, I think it's a guy from Zabbix. And this last example is XQL Explorer. You can actually have module where you can put a completely new field in your um, Zabbix frontend, and you can just select or call your queries directly into database. It's really nice because you don't need something like, hey, permission into database. Just if you're debugging something, it's really nice to call it. OK, it's everything from me. Uh, I have only 20 minutes, uh, 25 actually. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for your time, and uh, I hope I can see you next year on next summit. And also, it's 10th summit. I'm so glad we have so much summits here. And next year, it's, I hope, next one. Thank you very much.